Hello, and welcome to Duke University's 2020 Undergraduate Convocation. Duke has a long history of celebrating the start of the academic year with the Convocation. When we gather with the spirit and excitement of a new beginning. During today's ceremony, university leaders come together with students and faculty to welcome you. As president, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Duke University and to encourage you as the newest members of the Duke family to look ahead to the opportunities the next four years will bring. Promises of academic challenges, the formation of long-lasting friendships, and the possibilities of experiencing the unexpected. While today's gathering may be different than most, we are so very excited to join the faculty and President Price in welcoming you to Duke. We are here today to celebrate your entrance as the class of 2024. And we eagerly anticipate the many ways in which you will shape the future of our university. Welcome, new friends, to Duke University. Let us pray. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, you were in the beginning and we turn to you in this new beginning because you have been our dwelling place in all generations and from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. We rest in this knowledge as we begin this academic year at such an uncertain, ambiguous, and challenging time. Some students are nervous, others are excited. Some are confident, others are unsure and wonder, will I fit in? Will I get along with my roommate? Will I be smart enough? Will I be accepted? As we stand in this towering sacred sanctuary, soothe any anxieties today and fill us with bright hopes for tomorrow. Let the breathtaking beauty of this campus, the firmness of Duke Stone, and the soft breeze of a perfect Durham day remind us that we are never alone as we wander the path of learning, growth, and self-actualization. Thank you for those who made it possible for us to be here. May we never forget them, nor those who have come before us at dear old Duke, and those who will teach and lead us in the days ahead, trustees, administrators, faculty, staff, and students. Especially in this unique academic year, help us to not only absorb book lessons, but seek life lessons, to grow deeper as human beings, full of humility, honesty, and hope. Even while at physical distance, let our hearts draw closer to one another in compassion, understanding, and empathy. May our so-called social distance be a genuine representation of our social solidarity. Keep us safe, healthy, and strong. Let our material masks unmask the truth of who we are 
that together we may discover our common humanity, and by doing so, truly embody the institutional value of excellence. That is, the most excellent way of love, justice, and peace. Amen. 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 Hello, class of 2024. My name is Tommy Hessel, and I am both deeply humbled and incredibly excited to be here today as your student body president, albeit virtually. Congratulations on starting your Duke journey. I know everyone here has dedicated an incredible amount of time and effort into being where you are today. Welcome to the Duke family. And when I say family, I do mean it. The peers, faculty, staff, alumni, and Durham community members you meet over these years will become the people you laugh with, study in Perkins with, cry with, sometimes in response to the studying, watch basketball with, eat in marketplace with, and ultimately discover yourself with. As our previous student government advisor, Gerald Harris, always reminded us, life moves at the speed of relationships. So I encourage everyone here to grow with the support from this family around you amidst all the changes this year has in store. In this short time today, I wanna to offer a guiding piece of advice that has helped me grow throughout Duke. Self-discovery requires active exploration. At face value, this simply means you won't find anything if you don't look. But beyond that, actively exploring means stepping outside of your comfort zone. Talking to new Blue Devils over Zoom, joining cl clubs, flinching professors, attending performances and showcases, and getting involved with local initiatives are all ways to actively explore Duke. Personally, I owe my course of studies to this exploration after deciding on a whim to attend Duke Energy Week as a first year. However, active exploration does not mean compromising on balance and who you are for others. As the Nigerian author Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie so eloquently said, do not twist yourself into shapes to please. Everyone here should showcase what makes you, you, and do not lose that along the way. Your identity is wholly your own, and your exploration will bring out the best in you. Or as stated by another great thinker and Jasmine tea maker, Uncle Iroh, it is time for you to look inward and begin asking yourself the big questions. Who are you and what do you want? With our limited in-person interactions this year, it would be easy to remain content and not push your own boundaries. But you all are part of the Duke family now. We continue to push our boundaries and pursue our dreams despite COVID, despite national policy, and despite all the world throws at us. We are a united community of passionate artists, activists, scientists, linguists, historians, innovators, Blue Devil buddies, and many more dedicated to helping you manifest your potential, but only if you're willing to start exploring. So in a year marked with uncertainty and change, know that it will all work out if you just keep exploring. Class of 2024, I'm excited to welcome you to your Duke family. Good morning, and to the class of 2024, the memorable class of 2024, I want to be among the first to say welcome. We're glad to have you join us, and we're especially glad to have you join each other. Each year, I have the privilege of presenting the entering class to the university community. This year represents the culmination of a process that, while always challenging and stressful, started out more or less normally and ended like nothing we've ever seen before. So I think I can safely say that your senior year at Duke will be a lot more enjoyable than your senior year in high school. In the coming weeks and months, I expect many people will tell you how unique you are and how different your start to college is than the classes that preceded you. And that's true, but I'd like to talk for a minute about the ways in which you're not unlike the classes that came before you. You're a diverse group, very much like our other classes. You come to us from 58 countries, 47 states, and 882 cities and towns. 
A third of you are the only ones from your hometowns to be here, and over half of you are students of color. And, as Duke students tend to be, you are an unusually and deeply talented group in both your academic and extracurricular accomplishments. So when my colleagues in the admissions office read your applications, we were struck by how much you managed to squeeze into a day or into a week. But honestly, we were more struck by how much things mattered to you. The secret to your admission wasn't in your grades or test scores or your list of activities. It was in your ability to understand what there is in the world that's important to you and then to act on it. You made a difference in your school or in your community or maybe right in your family. It's that ability, that inclination to make a difference that's a defining characteristic of Duke students. And like every class before you, you have that in abundance, individually and collectively. I also want to mention your resilience. Now, resilience is one of those words that has become popular in higher education recently, and it's one of those qualities we all want to have, but we're not always thrilled when we have to demonstrate it. We were looking for resilience when we read your applications, and we saw plenty of it. But to be honest, when we admitted you, we didn't expect that many of you to need to be this resilient this soon. But you've done great so far, and you've come to a place where the challenges will be real, but the support is greater. So I'd like to finish with this thought. Duke students are legendary for how they're supportive of each other. Your classmates will push you and challenge you, and they'll also be there to help you every step of the way. We saw that empathy and kindness in you the same way we saw your resilience and your ability to make a difference. That's why you belong here, the way every student who has preceded you belonged here. You all follow different paths, but it's all led you to the same place here at Duke. My colleagues at Duke and I are proud of what you've done to earn your spot here, and we're going to be especially proud of all you do this year and the rest of your time at Duke. So it gives me great pleasure to present to my colleagues at Duke, to President Price, and to the entire Duke community the talented, engaged, kind, and resilient class of 2024. Thank you. Trinity College of Arts and Sciences maintains our university's historic commitment to the liberal arts in the classroom and throughout their lives as undergraduates, our students have the opportunity to encounter a full diversity of perspectives, which will prepare them to become the broad-minded and principled leaders of tomorrow. Having heard Dean Gutentag's introduction, I have great confidence that you are well qualified to pursue the course of study here at Duke. On behalf of the faculty of Trinity College of Arts and Sciences, I am delighted to welcome you, the class of 2024, to our vibrant university community. Duke's Pratt School of Engineering takes great pride in preparing our students to design the innovations of the future. You will learn from our faculty members who are experts in data science and computer engineering, biomedical and environmental research, and mechanical, aerospace, and civil engineering. You will have the opportunity to put what you learn to practical use from your very first days here. I have great confidence that in you and your ability to shape our future. On behalf of the faculty of the Pratt School of Engineering, I'm very pleased to warmly welcome you class of 2024 to Duke University. Welcome.
Our undergraduate degree programs allow students to broaden their understanding of the world and to develop a deeper sense of their place in it. As Duke students, you will have a greater opportunity than ever before to bring about meaningful change, whether through your learning, service, or engagement with your neighbors. I join my colleagues in being impressed by this group. On behalf of the entire undergraduate community, I hereby accept the class of 2024 and welcome you to Duke University. Undergraduate teaching and learning are at the core of Duke University's mission. As we seek to increase our wisdom, promote human happiness, we are so excited for you to engage in the vibrant academic life of this university, to question deeply, explore widely, and contribute to the important work that is happening across our campus and beyond. On behalf of the faculty and the entire academic community, I hereby accept the class of 2024 and welcome you to Duke University. Parents and colleagues, please join me in congratulating them. Good afternoon. As president, I am thrilled to welcome you as the newest members of the Duke University community. Though I'm coming to you today from Duke Chapel in the heart of our campus, you are part of the most global incoming class in our university's history. Many of you are watching this opening ceremony from your new dorm rooms. Some of you are connected to us virtually from places around the world. A few of you are even starting your Duke careers on our sister campus at Duke Kunshan University, a truly unprecedented feat. Now, as members of the graduating class of 2020 and the incoming Duke class of 2024, I suspect that you're getting tired of that word, unprecedented. You'll be glad to hear then that today is a moment with a great many precedents. We have been gathering for an opening ceremony since long before Duke was a university. All the way back in 1906, the Chronicle reported that the 48th academic year of what was then Trinity College began formally with the president in academic regalia, hoisting the American flag above East Campus while the students gave out a cheer. Things have evolved a bit since then. This isn't even the first opening convocation during a pandemic. A century ago, Spanish flu raged through 1918 and 1919 and was still very much a presence when Trinity College welcomed the incoming class of 1924. It must have been an unsettling time, just as I know this is, a moment of excitement over a new start tinged with apprehension about the world around us. Even then, though, our students were focused on the important priorities. The Chronicle editorial board wrote with relief that in response to the epidemic, the manager of the basketball team had rearranged the scheduled contest against Carolina and State so that tr the Trinity team could still compete for the state championship, which I should note, they went on to win. For those basketball fans among you, while the state championship title exists today only in spirit, we still regularly win it over our foes at NC State and UNC. Now, if you ask anyone who attended our opening celebrations between 1990 and 2014, I suspect that they would tell you that what they remember is hearing from the late poet, Maya Angelou who spoke to incoming first-year students for 24 years. You may be familiar with her extraordinary work, or perhaps read her memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. In an interview toward the end of her life, Professor Angelou was asked what advice she might give for living fully. Her answer reflected both her humor and her generosity of spirit. Every day I awaken, I am grateful she said, my intent is to be totally present in that day and to laugh as much as possible, to be grateful, to be present, and to laugh. It occurs to me that these three guiding principles might be helpful for all of us as we begin this next 
academic year at Duke. First comes gratitude. Amidst the uncertainty and frustration that many of us have been experiencing, it can be difficult to remember that we have so much to be thankful for. And this is a vitally important starting point as we set off on this new year together. We at Duke are certainly grateful that you are here. As Dean Gutentag described just a few moments ago, yours is a tremendously accomplished class. Each of you brings something distinct to the Duke community, a unique perspective, a life-changing experience, a talent that sets you apart. To borrow from another poet, Walt Whitman, you have come here to contribute your verses to Duke's powerful play, to forever change the course of our university's history for the better. We are so thankful for that. But as remarkable as you all are individually, we know that none of you arrived here on your own. The support, the love, the guidance of the people in your lives, your parents, families, friends, and teachers, many of whom may be watching today, has fostered your extraordinary talents, has allowed you to grow into the accomplished people assembled here today. I hope that you will take a moment in the coming days to thank them. Let them know that you're truly grateful for all the ways that you've been helped to come to this moment. In that spirit, let us awaken each day of this new academic year with gratitude. Next comes Angelou's charge to be present. Now, this has perhaps taken on new meaning in the age of social distancing, but what I think she was getting at was not so much physical presence, but rather being present in the mind and in the spirit. In a world filled with distractions, it takes conscious effort to remind ourselves to pause and pay attention, to slow down, and really appreciate the opportunities and experiences before us. You've likely come to Duke, at least in part, to prepare for that lifetime that comes after graduation, but I can assure you, those days are coming soon enough. While you're here, I hope you'll take the time to be really present in your friendships and in the Duke community. Some of the most remarkable things that you will learn at Duke will be from one another, not in the classroom or the lab, but in conversations among friends on Zoom and in explorations in your free time. It may be harder in the age of COVID, but you'll have the rare opportunity to connect with classmates and colleagues from many different backgrounds and perspectives. We at Duke have made new commitments to equity, inclusion, and racial justice for all students, efforts that you will be hearing more about in the coming weeks. We invite you to join us in building this richer, more inclusive Duke community. If you're willing to connect with your classmates, they'll have a great deal to teach you about how to live in and experience the world. Also, all of us, you, me, indeed every member of the Duke community, must be present to our obligations to do the frankly unnatural things we all have to do in this pandemic to keep each other and our Durham community safe and healthy. We can't let down our guard or give in to those understandable temptations to get back to our normal lives. You and all of your classmates will have to steel yourselves against the inclinations to just get on with typical Duke traditions and Duke social life. Not now. Eventually, but not now. Instead, you will build this semester new traditions. Those connections that we will make will have to be made from at least six feet away. We'll have to learn to, to back away if we're crowded. We'll have to simply say no to misguided party invitations. And we'll have to wear, make wearing these face masks our badges of Duke pride and wear them everywhere we go. Now to do this for an entire day, it can be trying. For a week, truly challenging. For an entire semester, achievable only if we maintain our focus and help each other through. Only if we remain fully present to each other. Now at the same time, be present to your own needs. The transition to college can be jarring under any circumstances and you may find it particularly so today. That's okay. In fact, it's to be expected. This moment will require great flexibility and resilience. And Duke has robust advisory and mental health resources to support you, both as you get your footing here and as you continue throughout your Duke career. I encourage you to take full advantage and get some sleep. Without it, none of us can be our best. 
a sleepy brain is not fully present. So with a good night's rest behind us, let's awake to this new academic year with presence. And finally, there's Angelou's last piece of advice, to awake each day with laughter. One of Angelou's great friends, the writer and theologian Frederick Buechner, told the story that they were both at a very formal ceremony in a cathedral in New York, a place in a moment not unlike this one. Buechner noted that the assembled dignitaries were wearing robes and tassels and looking very serious. Angelou smiled and explained to Buechner that enslaved people were not allowed to laugh as their masters feared it was directed toward them. So they kept an empty barrel. And if any of them felt an urge to laugh, they would act like they were getting something out of that barrel and let forth a laugh into it. When Angelou saw all those men in robes marching somberly into the cathedral that day, she said her impulse was to run and find an empty barrel or an empty room and burst into laughter. The point of the story is that laughter is a critical part of our humanity and a healthy aspect of our lives. It can be a tremendously powerful antidote to uncertainty and tension. I encourage you, especially in these complicated times, to look for those daily moments of humor and joy that will offer themselves to you in your time here. You will undoubtedly experience stress at Duke. It's a fact of life. And I'll bet it's been stressful already just to get here. But you'll also have a chance to watch a classmate do sketch comedy in the Bryan Center, to laugh with friends on a suitably distanced walk in Duke Gardens, or to watch with awe as the sun comes up over this Duke Chapel. Such moments of joy are everywhere at Duke, and I hope you will take the time to enjoy them. In that spirit, let's also awake each day this new academic year with laughter and joy. Class of 2024, once again, welcome to Duke. You've arrived at a time when things look very different than they ever have before. But in this unprecedented moment, there are great opportunities to be a Duke United in building an even brighter future for our university, the nation, and the world. In that spirit, and with the words of Maya Angelou echoing in this chapel where she spoke so many times, I encourage you to awake to this moment of profound opportunity. Awake each day with gratitude. Awake and be present. Above all, awake to find the joy in life as part of this academic community. Cheers and congratulations.